Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising Let's Play. So, in the last episode we had sort of a rescue mission. Uh, basically, an entire contingent of Blood Ravens had been wiped out with the exception of Jonah Orion. And so we had to go in, rescue Jonah, recover the bodies, kill the Eldar, and all that good stuff. And there was a lot of uh, ambushes and backtracking and all that kind of nasty stuff. But anyways... Today we're headed off of Aurelia and back to Meridian where we had spent so much of the previous campaign. And it looks like we're going to be dealing with some orcs. So let's go ahead and check that out. We don't need to assign anything. We've already taken care of all of our level ups and all of our gear. So we can just get right to this. And it looks like uh, the former governor's assistant, now the actual governor, uh, DeRosa, wants to talk to us. So let's do that. Commander, Governor DeRosa here. Insurgents loyal to House Vandis have launched a sabotage campaign here on Meridian. Our infrastructure is still crippled from the Eldar and Tyranid attacks, and the Vandis rebels know just where to strike to cause the most damage. What's more, raids from orc looters have become endemic. We could use any aid you can provide, Commander. All right, well, we only have one mission, so let's check it out. Uh, it's an uprising at Angel Forge. So, it looks like it's an insurgency? Huh, let's check it out. Actually, I should probably set up my squad first, because I'd like to just go straight into this. Uh, so, I'm going to run with my usual crew. Do I want to bring Avidus? Hmm... Yeah, I like Avidus. And Davian Thule. This is my go-to group from uh, the last playthrough. Although, without his Terminator armor, Avidus isn't going to be quite as useful. Anyways, let's get our briefing. Commander, this insurgency has stretched our loyal forces to the limit. Orc looters have infested the Hablocks outside Angel Gate, and I can spare no troops to stop them. Only you can eliminate these Xenos before they reach Angel Forge. What do Orcs have to do with the insurgency? House Vandis wants Angel Forge for itself. They are driving the orcs ahead of them in order to weaken the forge's defenses. If the insurgents take Angel Forge, they will have access to massive weapon stores. How well defended is the forge? Most Imperial Guard forces have been diverted to deal with Vandis insurgents. Those guardsmen still at the forge are dangerously shorthanded. The defensive gate has been restored, but it remains in a weakened state. If Angel Gate falls, nothing stands between the Rebels and the Forge. Okay, so we need to eliminate Orc Looters, and the game wants me to bring jump or teleport units to maximize our mobility. I have Aramis with a jump pack. Everybody else is going to be a little bit less mobile, but I think that's okay. I find that having one tank and a bunch of range units works a lot better than a bunch of really squishy melee troops like Thaddeus because he just cannot uh, sub like s persist in combat very well so he, he inevitably gets taken out. Uh, the orcs are well armed, expect vehicles, gunners in structures and ambushes. Yeah I think Tarkus will be better for that because he deals with structures a lot more easily although Thaddeus has grenades and that could be helpful against the vehicles or sorry the structures but Avidus would be better against vehicles. So Angel Gate is the forge's final defense. Destroying it would render the forge vulnerable. Okay. And we get a useless melt gun for our efforts. Um, I'm going to run with this crew. Thaddeus could be really useful, but I think Avidus is a better complement to who we have. Thule is really slow, and so if I bring a bunch of jump pack units, they're inevitably going to outpace him. And he's never going to be able to quite get into the fight when he needs to. So I'd rather bring a little bit slower group. That way he's always in the middle of it. Aramis can jump in early and you know um, sustain combat for a while without taking too much damage. Where if I try to do that with Thaddeus while Thule's still trying to get up to him, Thaddeus is just going to get wiped out. So I think this is the group we're going to run with.
I will be glad to be done with this place. Okay, Surely Angel let's... Forge is worth defending, Abatus. Worry about moralizing later, Librarian. There are orcs to kill. Let's uh, start pushing up here. I'm gonna grab any little goodies we can get as we go. Uh, we'll probably want to capture that, but it looks like we have to push around first. So let's do that. Oh, okay. Aramis, get in there. And you charge. You guys can start shooting instead of just running into people. And I think that's the end of those orcs. Perfect. All right, move this way. Oh, more orcs. Who will get in there? Uh, you need to fall back. Okay, light him up. And we can move on. Let's go. Alright, Aramis. I need you there. Duel. Start lighting that area up. Tarkus. I need frags on that. And... Avidus, get in there. Okay, keep the frags coming. Oh, Aramis, get in there, man. Okay, one more frag. Oh, whoa. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, grab this first. Let them come to us in the meantime. Oh, whoops. Come on, capture it. Nice. If he wants to come to us, uh, I'll let Aramis intercept him, but I want to grab this first so that we can reinforce if we need to. Meanwhile, uh, it looks like Avidus might be able to snipe this guy. Okay. Duel, get in here. I want an assault cannon barrage on the building. Aramis, get in there. Tarkus, frags on the building. And Avidus, just push up and do whatever you gotta do. Okay, let's go. Everybody light this thing up. We got some uh, big guys over here, too. Aramis, go ahead and uh, say hello to them. Oh, looks like we uh, broke up their ambush there. Come on. Barrage, go, go, go. Nice. They just got absolutely wrecked. All right, pull back. Let's fight these guys away from the building, and then we'll go ahead and deal with the building. Alright. Start firing on that. Start throwing grenades there. Aramis, get in there and duel. Can you charge the building? I think you can. Let's try it. Let's go. Keep hitting it. Nice. Man, we just obliterated them. Alright, uh, where's our next destination? It looks like we're pushing due south to roughly about here. Keep an eye out for orcs. Probably some of these buildings. No? Okay. Strange. Well, at least there's some uh, resources for us. Oh, I knew it. Come on, Thule, get in there. Uh, pull back. Get away from that grenade. Alright, nice. Finish him off. And let's get going. We need to move to, what, that building? I guess this, let's just move roughly down the middle and... We'll probably end up aggroing both. Uh, we actually want to capture this too while we're here. What do we have there? That's very red. Aramis, get in there. I need grenades on that. You can start just suppressing the entire area. This is my lucky day. Stay on him, stay on him. Uh, more frags wouldn't hurt. Aramis, do not let him attack are squishy guys. Oh, great. Uh, 
you can do one of these for me. Thank you. Okay, move up. Aramis, he is yours. Let's see. Uh, frags in there. Don't think that's going to be too useful. No, we're not going to do that. I need you somewhere where you can shoot. Uh, let's heal because we'll be able to get some more med kits here potentially. You move in. Actually, charge him. Aramis, you need to be fighting. It's kind of your whole deal. I don't know why you decided to run into melee. Okay, he's down. He's down. say more, Space Marines? Let's go ahead and cap this while you guys grab us some resources. Uh, that's weak. At least we got another turret. Uh, whoops, you guys were the ones actually capturing, my bad. Can we get some more med kits? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll grab that. We'll move on to here. That'll be the end of the looters. And then I think we have to push back to the forge. Or maybe at least to Angel Gate there. Nice. Okay, let's move. We need to be roughly here. Or maybe on that. Yeah, looks like about there somewhere. So what I'll do is I'm going to send Avidus into the building. Tarkus, I guess you can do that as well. I don't know that you'll be able to use grenades from there though. And then we'll push you guys up in the middle. Where the hell are you going? We know there's going to be a fight here, so get in. All right, intercept them. Go on, let him draw the aggro. You need to move. You need to get melt bombs on that truck. You got suppressed. Let them charge through it. Uh, you need to get in there. Come on, keep lighting it up. Keep lighting it up. We almost got it. Almost got it. Oh man, these killer cans. Uh, you probably don't want to be on the ground right now. Let's see. Melt a bomb here. You can just light that whole area up. Okay, that's weird. Heal yourself. Uh, you need to get out of there because you're not helping anybody. Why does that keep popping up? Go ahead and use that and call down a turret as well because that'll help. You need to keep melt bombing the vehicles. You're winning that fight, so just stick with it. You know what? Stay on that. Try not to use all our med kits here. Aramis, stay on this thing, please. Go, 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 go. Use a grenade. Nice. Come on, Wimble's got it. Perfect. Commander, Governor DeRosa here. We are receiving a distress call from inside the defensive ring. Okay. We are under heavy fire from insurgent forces inside the perimeter. Great. Heavy casualties. They all look the same, too. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh! Got some chaos up in there. Yikes. There is a command console inside the perimeter which you can use to lower the gate, Commander. Jump packs should allow you to reach it. Commander, that position is exposed. Then we break the gate down, take the fiends by surprise. With Angel Gate shattered and the defenders dead, who will hold the forge the next time? Okay, I need you to capture that so we can get inside. Oh god, did you just run right into that? You moron. Alright, get moving. You guys get going as well. Push straight through. Aramis, you need to clean up there and then jump down. Looks like we're dealing with Eliphas the Inheritor. Uh, here are our brothers. 
Uh, right about there is good. Grenades, if you don't mind. Cover would be smart as well. You can pop one of those for us. Aramis, where did you go? Oh, okay. Go on. We have encountered Chaos Space Marines. Oh, jeez. Understood. The Imperial Guard will hold them as long as they can. I need to remember to use Feel No Pain. I think we're about done here, though. Perfect. Okay, there's that. You guys can start moving up. Looks like we're just pushing straight through to the center. Uh, let's go after that. I'm sure we'll have somebody to deal with before we get there, though. Aramis, get ready to jump. Nobody. Okay. Actually, no, you go there, you go here. Ah, I knew it. Fire, fire, fire. Ah, I wish he didn't take so long. He could have lit them up so easily. Oh, they're behind us. Uh, get to here. You need to do that. And then charge them. Aramis. Get uh, into... No, go there. Keep them off their feet. That'll kill them a lot more quickly. Some blighted power armor. Come on. Okay. Uh, you grab this. Everybody else shoot that guy. Nice. I don't think we need any reinforcements, but we'll take it anyways just to be safe. Uh, what is that little yellow dot there? Maybe allied forces or something? Well, I'm just going to keep following these red arrows. Keep Aramis ready to jump back in. That's concerning. Alright, jump. You can just suppress the whole area. Let's get you guys into cover. Call down a turret right here for me. We call down another there, I think. You guys are getting way too close. Okay. Tarkus, pick a spot and stay there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Move up to here. Why are they not dead yet? Aramis, don't worry about them. But don't worry about him. Go after those guys. I'll let the guys in the back deal with this lone space marine or chaos marine. Do a feel no pain on yourself. Can you? It doesn't look like it. Okay, got some explosives back. Let's move. Was it this way? Yeah. Do we need to capture anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Aramis, go ahead and jump. Try to do it before you get there. I'll put Avidus in that area. So good to see you all again, Blood Ravens. I remember well our sparring on Cronus. Tell Captain Sully that his old friend Eliphas is anxious to see him again. So Cronus is where Dawn of War Dark Crusade took place. Uh, for those of you wondering what that reference is, it doesn't look like you're able to actually do anything from there, which is really annoying. Do whatever you can to him. Maybe ram him. Aramis, you should probably be in that fight as well. Oh, we're all out of those, so you're going to have to use grenades. Whoops. Uh, yeah, call in one of those. Oh good, they finally move away from stuff falling out of the sky. Let's see. I just need you shooting, really. Keep throwing grenades. That always helps. Go on, we almost got it, we almost got it, we almost got it. Almost there. Duel, why aren't you fighting the Dreadnought right in front of you? 
Okay, now you can kill that guy. Alright. Uh, charge it. Bump into him, do something. The insurgents are in Got full it. retreat. You have more than an insurgency on your hands, Governor DeRosa. This is a full-fledged heresy. So I keep getting drops that are corrupted. I don't know if we'll be able to use any of these. Zeal and fury are rewarded with victory. Okay, so we get a melted gun that's completely useless. It would be nice if these missions would have like a, a level minimum of like 20. Because in order to complete Dawn of War 2, you likely had all your characters level 20 anyways. So the fact that like we're getting like level 15, 16, even level 18 equipment kind of sucks. Because we're never going to be able to use it. Uh, how do we do on time? Eh, not great, but decent for once. Uh, quite a few level ups there, at least. Uh, and with a couple of donations, we'll be able to get Tarkus up over the hump as well. This is very grave news. We cannot allow the forces of chaos to overrun our recruiting worlds. The traitor legions must be based on planet Aurelia, Commander. Return there immediately and hunt them down. All right. So, let's go ahead and take care of some level ups. Unfortunately, a couple of our guys got some corruption there. We'll try to keep it to an absolute minimum, though. So, we'll need one point here. So that he is now unkillable. Let's see. I should probably try to go for that because we're using the drop pod beacon. So, that will give us a free extra use out of it. That will get sold. That didn't quite get Tarkus up over. So the Blighted Power Armor has a negative armor rating. Wow. Why would I use that? Plus one redemption. I'll hang on to that, but I don't think I'm going to use it. But anything that's corrupted, I'm just going to get rid of. Okay, that's looking good so far. Do we have another set of Tarantula Turrets? Oh, this is a Locator Beacon. For the deployment of Tarantula Turrets. Okay. So, is that different than what Avidus has, or is it just another copy of it? Literally nothing to equip you with. So, let's continue toward tactical expertise. Avidus, I think we were going for Pitiless. What would this do? Steady and cover, immune to knockback would be nice. I don't really need to make him better in melee combat, necessarily. That would be good, because I think that that actually works on anybody's attack, anybody's melee attacks. So essentially, he would be uh, giving them a debuff while he shoots them. So let's get him to Pitiless first, and then we'll go for that. Davian Thule, I wanted to get you to Ancient Defender. Nice. So we don't need to bring the, the repair kits anymore. We can ditch those in favor of really anything we want there isn't a lot that you can bring uh, you know what I'll have you take those but is there anything like that's the problem is the commander items have to go here grant substantial experience so that we catch somebody up but I can't do multiples of those I'd rather have the jump pack to keep him mobile so you may as well have those, because you're the one that benefits primarily from them. Tarkis, I'm just going to give you this purity seal, because it's pretty good. And yeah, that's all you can do. So let's see. Thule, I think, is the furthest behind. We'll keep looking at that, though. Mark target, covert leadership. That's pretty cool. Fearless Shadow. He's immune to suppression while fully infiltrated. He also gains additional movement speed. That would be good. May tag a location, then a squad, and then use the Strike Cruiser's Teleporter to transport that squad to the Chosen Destiny. That could be really good. Let's do that. Or at least go toward that. Uh, nothing for you either. Thaddeus is 22. We wanted Thunderous Assault. So there we go. 
And it looks like you can wear this, but again, negative armor rating is going to get you killed very quickly. And I don't see anything else that would be worth wearing. Commander, I fear the traitor's foul warp energies may have affected us. Affected us? How, librarian? The corrupting influence of chaos is a powerful thing. Even the briefest encounter can stain a soul. We are no traitors. Perhaps not, Cyrus. But corruption can be subtle. Each step along the path may seem insignificant, but together they lead into darkness. When facing the minions of the warp, no decision is without consequence. Okay, so I'm just making some room here. Trying to clear this out because there's a bunch of junk that we don't need. Uh, let's see. There actually is some armors that he can use. Armor rating 50 plus 100 energy. Armor rating 66. And that boosts his damage output. So let's do that. I'll get rid of this one. And let's see. This is slightly better it looks like but he can't use that yet requires battle lust I don't know if he'll ever get there where is battle lust oh right there okay maybe he will then yeah we'll keep an eye on that but I honestly don't plan on using him too much I just don't find him that useful and we've taken care of everybody else there isn't a whole lot to do with them unfortunately we just didn't really get much. Axe of the Ravens. I don't think we're going to use that. Yeah, we'll just toss it. Oh, nice. I got another level up. Okay. So, yeah, keep pushing down here. That gives us Pitiless. And that's really all I can do with you. And then Davian and Thule leveled up again. What does this do? Call to arms. Ability unlock. Thule may call his brothers to his side after a brief delay. All incapacitated squads revive and fall back to Thule's position. If Thule is venerable, this ability occasionally triggers when he kills an enemy. Is he venerable? I don't think so. Uh, detonation. If incapacitated, Thule triggers a powerful radial detonation, damaging and knocking back. That would be good too, but I'd rather just he not be in incapacitated. Assault cannon suppresses enemy units. Ooh, that would be good. Both of these are really good. Actually, all of those sound pretty awesome. Uh, I really like the idea of his assault cannon being better. So let's do that first, because I, I use that quite often. And then, after that, I think we're going to do Call to Arms. Okay, that's where we're going to leave it for today. It looks like we're going to need to talk to her before we head back to Aurelia. Well, actually, no, we already have a mission there. So we're going to be doing this, but I'm going to talk to her before we leave just to make sure we don't miss anything. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Dawn of War 2 uh, Chaos Rising with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.